Welcome back to my channel. Today it is Tuesday the 8th of June and I am vlogging because I am wearing the most gorgeous top from Zara ever, honestly. The reason why I wanted to vlog today, it was to show you guys this lovely little crop top from Zara. It was 11 99 The colour is like a gorgeous bright baby blue colour but oh my god I am obsessed with it. It's actually stunning and I'm also wearing my Zara jeans and this morning I did actually go to college for uh, from like uh, from nine o'clock until twelve, and I had two exams, and I passed them both. So I'm kind of feeling very happy at the moment because I think I might only have four exams until I finish college. So uh, yeah, getting through the the college days now. I'm nearly finished. So yeah, but I'm pretty obsessed with my outfit. I probably will talk about it a lot in this vlog. But yes, and. I've also got some food in the oven as well because I am hungry. I have to put some chicken and waffles in because, you know, why not? And from Primark the other day, I actually bought a couple of packs of hair rollers. The bendy ones. They are part of the AF collab. And I just want to show you them because they are super nice. Right. Here they are. Oh, wait a minute. That's the back of them. They look like that. I used to actually own some bendy rollers and I would buy some bigger ones for like my hair because my hair is very long now. As you guys can probably see, my hair is very long. Um, so I might maybe try this out tonight because I do have to wash my hair and apparently it'll work best with damp hair. So I'll, I will kind of have to like, I will kind of have to dry my hair a little bit and I will be going to college tomorrow afternoon for the microdermabrasion like face practical so yes i'll be trying these out tonight because i want to and for the rest of the day i'm probably just going to be like editing a few videos because our wi-fi has been going on and off since we got it upgraded and it's really annoying me and the wi-fi is currently off at the minute it's pretty much delayed me uploading youtube videos onto youtube which is absolutely brilliant yes we need this right now you know yes and yeah i don't really have anything else to update one at the minute <laughs> so i will probably see you after my lunch because i am actually starving like after my breakfast i had a mars bar and that is all i've had to eat since around seven o'clock this morning so yeah i'm feeling a bit hungry so I'm going to fill my stomach with some nice food. I'm back again, guys, for my lunch. I did have some chicken and waffles, and now I'm just going to try and get comfortable. Oh my god, ow. Oh, I've just knocked my elbow on here. That really hurts. In our kitchen at the moment, we have so many massive flies, and they're the type of flies that make a horrible buzzing noise, and they are huge, absolutely huge. So, when I was having my lunch, I googled how to kill them pretty much because they are pesty little buggers and especially like in the kitchen as well it's a bit dirty to have them flying around because like they could have anything on them so i googled it and i put a little bit of honey and a tiny bit of water in like a little dish so i'm hoping it'll attract them and we'll hopefully get rid of a few of them because they are absolutely disgusting but anyway my room is such a tip because I came home yesterday Oh no, I came home on Sunday evening time because me and Scott went to Leeds and we did do a bit of shopping and my room just is looking a bit of a tip to be honest because I have like my college bags everywhere. I've got bin bags, I've got makeup on my desk, I've just got clothes and just random bits that I need to tidy up but I'm sure we just don't have the effort. But yeah, but... I want to show you the other things I bought from Zara. There already will be a shopping haul up by the time you guys are watching this vlog. I'm hoping anyway. I did film it yesterday, so hopefully the Wi-Fi will work for me to edit and upload it because, oh my God, imagine if it doesn't upload. But at the moment, Zara has so many cute crop tops in there and stuff like that. So as you guys know, this one, it's like every crop top. Well, I grabbed this, guys. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. 
It's like a, a little yellow frilled rib crop top. Like, how cute are those frills? It was eleven ninety nine. Like, what? It's actually gorgeous. Obsessed with the colour. It looks a lot more brighter in real life. It looks more pastel on the camera for some reason. It's like a brighter kind of pastel colour on, like, in real life. And I also got myself a little top. I'd also a pair of shorts but i had them on yesterday and i had a bit of an incident so i've had to go in the wash <laughs> but yeah i got this little top as well for 1999 and this was the last one in the shop and the other work i actually got it off the mannequin for me because yeah i really wanted it it's gorgeous and it's like a bardo kind of top so yes that's what i got from sarah so i'm very happy with my buys and i obviously also went into other shops as well but i'm not gonna I uh, show everything I bought in case you haven't watched the haul because I highly recommend it. Also, guys, there should be a Volvo haul coming very soon. Hopefully, around the time th this vlog is up, because it would be nice to have it up. Because obviously, I have not uploaded as a Volvo haul in a long while. So yeah, I've been trying to save my money. Mm, no, I haven't actually. Well, I have. Well, I was well. I've been trying to save my money because obviously I did spend a good few hundred in Lee to Scott, mainly on food and shopping pretty much. So I'm trying to save as much as I can because the payday for me isn't until the 25th of June. I'm currently on the 8th of June as I'm filming this, so I still have to wait like I don't even know how many days it'll be. 15 days? No, 17 days until payday, which is just a little bit over two weeks away. So I'm going to have to be very good with my spending and just kind of be like on a halt, you know? But you know, to be honest, I pretty much have all my summer clothes now. I've got plenty of makeup to last me for another 10 years, you know? So why buy more than when you have plenty, you know? That's going to be. Yeah, that is going to be my new motto for the, for the next month because I just need to get through somehow with not spending any money on clothes and stuff. But honestly, Primark is just so good. But yeah. Anyway, so put these in the wardrobe. And then I'm just going to chill because I don't have any exams to revise for, like, for this week because I've got my last exam next Tuesday at half for one so at least I'm all prepared for that and we need some revision in, in the lesson today so I'll probably revise on Monday again um yeah and the other makeup look and eyeshadow palette that I went for I used the beautiful Morphe palette honestly Morphe palettes will always have a special place in my heart they are actually beautiful how gorgeous is this the 35 inch oh the loads of receipts because I've been spending too much money. Have a look at all these receipts, guys. All them. All them. TK Maxx is so good at the minute as well. I highly recommend going in there. But this 35 itchy bronze gold palette. Look at the packaging for starters. Ah, beautiful. And on my eyes, I use this one here, which is. Oh, right. I don't actually know which one it is because it doesn't say on the back, does it? Well, it's a lovely brown colour anyway. I love it a lot. And this palette is beautiful for prom looks, everyday looks, yeah, just glam, everything like that. But I'm going to have to sort through all the receipts and have a look at how much money I've been spending because it hasn't been a good time for me with my money and my bank balance. But definitely not. So I'm going to sort through these. I'm going to have a bit of a chill. I'm definitely going to have to clean this because I don't know if you guys can see this, but... It is a bit of a mess. Fun times, being a girl. The joys. Also, I forgot to mention that I went into Poundland and I found these absolutely stunning eyelashes for a pound from Poundland. Honestly, if you guys want to try these eyelashes, I highly recommend they're beautiful. And for one pound as well, and it even comes with an eyelash glue. They look exactly like the tight lashes in TL3, if I have them here. I probably don't actually know, but they are exactly like them. And it's actually unbelievable. Look how nice they are. So yeah, so I was pretty chuffed for myself when they they went Poundland. And yeah, I was very, very, very happy girl, you know. But yeah, um, 
you know, the current state of my room, I have not cleaned my room yet. I've still got some washing to put away, just, uh, just the adult things I've mentioned, but my dad actually repotted you know, my cactuses for me because you know, they were getting uh, too overgrown in an old pot. But this one, it literally looks as if it could be repotted again. I just want to show you guys because it's actually crazy. But look at how big this one is in particular, and this one's obviously they're looking really healthy. This is starting to go a bit brown, but ever since we potted it, it's like so green. And this one's been repotted, which looks really cute. And those have, and they now were almost dying, but they look really green now. And yeah, and then this one has been in this pot for a little while. It used to be like this big, but now it's like that big. This one I got from Aldi, which I really like, and a little pot. And these two were repotted together because they needed to be put together. And this pot is actually from Ikea, in case you're wondering. And then you know, my little rose plant, which is currently not there at the minute. <laughs> it's just a few branches. This is a few branches, but you know, yeah. This is the current state of my windowsill. It doesn't it look the most appealing with massive plant pots in a massive tray. But we're rolling with it. I did not make my bed this morning. This is the reality of being a teenage girl who goes to college. Who does not who can't be bothered to make a bed, don't put the washing away. Has all this to put away. <laughs> it's just never ending and I don't know how I will cope getting my own house in like three or four years or like an apartment or whatever it is but I'm definitely gonna have to start doing more around the house and I keep saying that to myself and my mum always says that to me as well but like you know I've, I've I'm I'm a beauty therapist like I've been going to college and stuff and doing beauty treatments but yeah and in this massive bin bag he's full of clothes and it will be going to charity just the charity shops are a bit funny about taking things in at the minute, so that's why it's, it's, it's here still. Also got some coconut, you like some palm land. So nice. Smells so good. A twin pack of 12, 50 wipes for a pound. It works out at like five. No, it works out at like a 2p a wipe, is it? Yeah, it does actually. Oh, that's a good bargain. Love that. This makes it feel so much better. Please ignore a few things on here I just have like a random light colour test and my makeup bag which is actually go down here it actually is really dirty inside does anybody actually have any tips on how to clean a makeup bag because that is kind of disgusting I'm not gonna lie oh there we go yes it's kind of yeah a bit dirty so if anyone could give me any tips on how to clean it it would be very much appreciated I also don't know how, well actually, I think I know where I'll put these. I think I'll put them in here for now. So then, it's with all my hair stuff. Organised, so much better. I've still not, I've still not been in my bed, but I'm going to be chilling it for a very long time. But now, I'm going to relax. I do have some chocolate cookies in here. I'll move just one left. It looks so unhealthy in here, but yeah. Like, I just have like my little snacks and stuff that I enjoy eating. I've still got you know, one more cookie in here, which I'm just going to have. And uh, I'm going to do some editing because it is time. And the Wi-Fi is still not working. So I'm just praying it'll work by the time I've edited the thumbnail and edited a couple of videos as well. Because I think I've still got like three videos to edit. So bad. Also... Scott will not be featuring in today's vlog. I feel as if he's been in like I feel as if he's been in like a lot of my vlogs lately, but he was in my Leeds vlog, he's been in he's been in like a few other videos. I will be seeing him tomorrow after I finish college at around four o'clock I think. So yeah, um, and they'll be working on Thursday until Sunday this week. It'll be five o'clock start, so I will be a bit tired, but you know. You've got to make money, haven't you? So that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I've just been doing some college work and YouTube work. Also, I have new glasses on, but they do give off a big glare. So I think I'll take them off. I did go to Specsavers on Thursday and picked up new pairs of glasses. 
But yes, but the foundation which I can use for every day is the Too Faced Bond Wear Foundation. It is this one here. Honestly, absolutely amazing. The coverage is so good and it is in the shade Snow. The reason why I use this as my everyday foundation is because it matches my natural skin colour. As you can tell, I am a very pale person when it comes to foundations and stuff. But I actually got this for my birthday and my birthday was it and my birthday it was the end of October. So this foundation has lasted me pretty much a half year and I still have a lot of it in. The packaging is gorgeous. And I've been constantly using my skincare and I think it's actually paying off. Obviously it's quite hard to see when I swap to my face. I will always have like I will always have little breakouts and a lot of oil on my face as you can tell on there and there and there. But I have been using kind of every day in my moisturizer. I've been using this paste every few days because you're not only meant to be using it like every day. Also, my tan on my arms is so patchy. Can you see that white patch? I don't know why it's like that, but I need to get the exfoliator out and scrub it off. I've also been using my Mario Badescu facial acne cleanser. It actually smells really nice. And then my, and then my Nivea toner. And I've been using you know, like a Primark face cloth to take off with. And using my Duval spin brush as well to kind of push the product into my face. But that is that. Also, the Primark nails, I've had them on for a week and... No. Oh my God, it'll be t No. Almost two weeks. What the one? Oh my god, I've had these nails off for almost two weeks. The, the ones already fallen off, but I did try to pull these off on Sunday in night because, like, you're not really meant to be wearing fake nails or acrylics when you do beauty therapy at college or makeup. But they have not come off because you know, the primary glue has improved a lot. So here is the current state of my nails. I do have like a lot of excess fake tan on there. I actually scrubbed that off and I've also got like a horrible scab on my finger from where it's got accidentally barged into me. Oh, fun times. That was the time I smashed my phone as well. So like I was really angry about it. <laughs> but you know, it's all right. I feel very tired though. But these early starts are really not a, a good one for me. Oh my God, I'm so patchy. What the hell is going on with this tan? I suppose I have had this... I have had this tan on since Wednesday, but it's so patchy, look at that. I'm definitely, I will definitely be scrubbing my body tonight because it's time, but honestly, I'm going to finish a little nap because I'm so tired. You're like, does anybody else get to this part of the day where you start to feel really tired and like really like slow? Because I literally feel like that right now. It's not good. And I I've got a lot of tension in my wrist as well, which I'm going to relieve the tension. Oh yeah, also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I had a couple of exams today and I passed them both, body electrotherapy. I passed them both first time, which I am super happy about. So good times, you know, it's all good. And now I'm just going to relax and chill. <laughs> As per usual in this vlog, I have been chilling for the whole afternoon. Also, I went down to the kitchen before and obviously like, I put some honey in that bowl with some water in there. And yeah, there was no flies in there because it's obviously too clever or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite sure about that. Oh well. Oh. I just got a bit bored so I thought I'd vlog. I've got myself a can of Pepsi Max and oh my god, I'm gonna sound so silly right now, but I don't care. There's been around five flies in this kitchen, probably about six, and I got the hoover up and tried to like hoover them up. Oh my god, it's the hardest thing ever. Anyway, I failed and now they're all flying around, but they're just like horrible little creatures. Um, does anybody have any tips or or no 
I want to buy and to kill them with because I really need them gone. Like, they're walking over everything and I hate them and I'm just disgusted. Oh my god. Like, right yeah. Also, if you're wondering why the hell you have a pink TV in your kitchen, basically, if you used to have a black one in here, which used to be the old living room TV, the new living room TV broke, so you had to move this old one into the living room and use TV. It used to be my pink TV, but I don't really want to need any anymore, so that is why it's in here because we didn't have a TV for here, and plus I didn't use mine. But it's fine, it's pink, it's cute, it's great, and my eyes are taking a while. It's like adjust my new glasses. I've already had them almost a week and my eyes are still kind of struggling. But these are like the round pair and I have more of like a, a rectangular kind of pair. And the pink are like grey colour, they're really nice. But these ones are very more like my nerdy kind of glasses. But they do glare really badly on the on here. Oh, that's better. If you could tell. But yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Have I'm gonna have a bit of caffeine to wake me up now because I am actually really tired. Like, I feel more tired waking up at seven o'clock than I do at four o'clock for work. It's kind of weird, it should be the other way around, but it's not. Yes, my sister's also home now. I've been home alone for ages, but basically she's in year 11 and she finishes school on Friday. And she actually finishes really late compared to the other schools in our area, but She's finishing on Friday and she actually had a job interview yesterday and she got off the job as well on the same day. Lucky girl, so she'll be starting her first ever job very soon. Like, I can't believe she's grown up so quickly, but you know, I remember at her age, I got my first ever job at a pub and I've worked there ever since March time now, so it just shows you. You know, got to work. I, I don't know what I'm saying, but basically, she's got offered a job anyway. So I'm super happy for her, and she's also finishing school very soon. So yeah, she's starting to she's starting to get into the adult life of working now. So you know, just goes downhill from there, doesn't it, guys? Who else can relate to that? As soon as she leaves school, it all just goes downhill. But to be honest, I don't miss school really. I probably miss the side of like you don't. We really have anything to worry about apart from like handling the homework and, and you didn't have a job when you went to school but apart apart from that aspect of it I do not miss it one bit because you always have a lot more freedom now it's so good oh my god these glasses are giving me the worst colour ever hey guys back again I have had such an amazing like a day just being able to chill and edit stuff and make thumbnails as well. I actually find making thumbnails so fun. I think I actually prefer that over editing videos because editing can be a bit of a pain in the bum sometimes. So, you know, but the other day was mine and Scott's 11 month anniversary and it will be our, and it will be our one year anniversary coming up very soon. So, when we went to Leeds, I did actually head into Urban Outfitters because he loves Urban Outfitters. We don't have one where we live. So whenever we go there, it's very nice to go in Urban Outfitters and have a look at all the clothes. And plus it is Scott's style of clothing over there. They sell, we should sell a lot of Tommy Hilfiger Levi's, Nike and stuff like that. So I did buy a couple of items for like... It's one year present and yeah, that will be all I'll be getting him, I think, because they were like a little bit of money, but not too much, but like a little bit of money. I'm just going to get them up. Oh, where are they? Oh, maybe in here, actually. Yes, basically, Urban Outfitters bag. The first thing I got him was this the Tommy Hilfiger top. It just says the Tommy on there with the logo on and on the back. It's really cool. It's like a multicoloured top. Is so nice. He will look so cool wearing this. I think the fluff off there of that fit this bag has kind of went on the colour a little bit, but it just says Tommy the jeans on the back and then Tommy on, on there. And Scott 
actually really suits white clothing so I got him that and in case you're wondering it was £35 but I did get 20% off you know that fitters because uh, the big deals and savings and stuff you know especially when you're a student it actually is a big help and then some Nike the green shorts in a size small because it suits like this khaki green colour there's so much and it has the white logo on there for him and these were actually how much were these yeah, let me just find the tag guys these were 20 pounds but obviously i got them a bit cheaper and these were in size small as well but oh my god he actually suits his color so much so i i'm pretty sure he will be happy with those two because he likes his clothes and stuff you know and yeah, that is all i will be getting him for a one year because like it is quite a lot of money and yes it is a one year anniversary but i treat him to little stuff all the time and you know we could be going away to newcastle we're not quite sure yet so we will wait and see about that yeah, definitely i also forgot to mention i took my eyelashes off because i need to go break about the month since around like eight o'clock this morning my face is looking really oily um i'm also really I'm also really excited to use the new hair rollers as well. Yeah, the plan of action is I will be washing my hair tonight and then I'll probably partly dry it until it's still a bit damp and then I'll probably keep, like, I'll probably roll my hair up and then I'll probably have to sleep in them, so, yeah. <laughs> and then I will look really weird with, like, rollers in my hair, but it's fine. Yes, my hair is definitely in need of a wash tonight because it is starting to look a bit greasy, but it's fine. Fred guys, like it's a bit later now. Ignore all the clothes on there. Like yeah, the half worn clothes and everyone puts them like on a chair or something if they're gonna wear them again. So that's what I'm doing, okay? Anyway, so I've been in the shower, I've washed my hair, I've kinda half dried my hair, but I don't know if it's still a bit too damp for these um I want the cold rollers. So I'm going to test them out. There's six in each packet. I've got two packets here and I'm going to try and use them because it would be see like it would be good to see how good they are and plus these these like these rollers are a lot chunkier compared to the other ones I used to have and my hair is longer now as well so I'm in need of of some chunkier water. I'm in need of some chunky rollers for my longer hair now. But oh my god, these are so awkward to open, especially with nails on. <laughs> like, oh my god, who decided I'm having nails? I'm going to take these nails off soon because, like, I'm becoming like incapable of trying to open packets and stuff now. It's actually beyond a joke. Jeez, I don't find anything so hard to open. Ah, oh, oh, oh my god, that nail hurt. Anyway. Here are the rollers. Oh my god, these are cool. Look at them. Oh my god, they're really funky. There's a smell of like hair in a way. Like there's a smell of of packaging to be honest. It's like hair kind of packaging. So here is the first packet. I've got that one. So I've got a six here. These look like pieces of rock. I think yeah, these are gonna work as you on my hair. I don't even think I need 12 in my hair because you know like they are quite chunky so I'm just gonna kind of like get a bit of hair first I don't really know how much hair to take because this might be not enough but I'm just gonna see I'm just gonna roll my hair up like I would if I was curling it and then we'll see how that goes oh that's quite good like this and then I guess I turn it around I haven't used these in years so I'm hoping they stay all right. I'm gonna have to watch a tutorial. <laughs> I mean, it's secure. I look like that a girl off Star Wars, what's she called? You leave a comment of a name if you know who I'm going on about. Oh, what's she called? I don't know what she's called. Oh my God, that's so funny. Right, I might get like a bit more hair this time. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll get this much and just see. I think I'll vlog in the morning and let you know 
you know what my hair is looking like just in case and see it's actually worked like in my application these may be wrong but i'm hoping i'm doing okay if any hairdressers are watching this video and i'm doing it completely wrong just give me like a message on instagram or something i'll leave a comment because i am um, no hairdresser i've already got more skills in the makeup side of, of of beauty oh no i don't know how to use these well i'll catch you all up probably if i can attempt to put these in my hair properly i'm gonna watch a tutorial because it might actually help me better because i don't want to walk around the house looking like this all night because it is only like eight o'clock almost so you know yeah the rollers are in <gasps> look at what i look like i look like one of them teddy tubbies oh my god but the other one at the back it's it, really annoying me it keeps getting loose but the other ones are fine i just have six rollers in my hair because that is just how many i need so i'm pretty happy with the end result they seem to be pretty secure on my hair so yeah but i'll vlog in the morning and let you know what my hair is looking like because i want it to update everybody i'm going to do this one again because it keeps falling out it's actually annoying me but so i'm just going to kind of show you how i i do it really just in case you want to know but like the one at the back is the hardest because obviously you can't really see from the back uh, so that's why it keeps going really weird when I do it. But you get the roller, you kind of twist the hair around. That's at least what I do. This is what like the tutorial woman was telling me to do. And then you just minute, like pull down and twist round, and that's how you want to do it. Like at the back. And make it like as tight as you can but obviously it isn't as easy as that just to do that but i think that's gonna have to do because it, it, it's the back of the head it's fine i've just woke up <laughs> i literally look so bad but it's fine i had to take like all the out apart from this one last night because it was really uncomfortable to sleep in so that's why i have this one in but oh my god like what the hell is going on i'll try and take it out and show you what it looks like oh dear my hair's gonna look so bad right let's have a look my hair's coming out it kind of looks curly like if i hadn't stepped in them then my hair will probably look curly, like, in more way of your curlier. Yeah? Uh, but, I've got to tuck them out. Oh my god. Alright, okay, well, I'll just stay in the morning, so please excuse the stay to me right now. But yeah, but if you want to try out a bendy rollers, I highly recommend them. Just don't sleep in them, because they're really uncomfortable to sleep in and end up falling out anyway. But, I will be ending this vlog here because I've just woke up, I'm really tired. So we'd hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, I make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below and also and also subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video.